In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to send bulk SMS using an email. In short, I mean how to send email to SMS in bulk. Alright, so same as you see on the screen of me receiving text messages to my phone number via email, this is exactly what I am going to walk you through in this video. So if I zoom in and you check here, you could see an email address instead of a phone number. So that's how email to SMS works. Mostly what majority of the people know when it comes to sending bulk SMS is sending from a phone number. But that is not the only way. And when you check the messages itself, you could see that each message is different from the other. Using approach like this is one of the secrets of hitting inbox when it comes to sending bulk emails or SMS. So this amazing tool I'm going to reveal in this video of sending bulk email to SMS does so many things such as it rotates your content. It rotates your links and also does SMTP rotation. Now using approach like this, there is a guarantee of always hitting inbox because you won't look too spammy since each content you send is unique and different. Now all you have to do is to stick with me and walk you through how you can send email to SMS in bulk while hitting inbox. Kindly subscribe to my channel if you're new to my channel for more valuable content. Let's get started. Now to start sending email to SMS, we will need email to SMS sender tool, and you can get this tool from my website, which is frankstrina.com. When you land on the site, click on the Frankie Send. Next, add to cart and proceed with the payment. After payment, you will get the file and then finally download the Frankison to your PC. Next, you need to extract the zip file, so right-click on it and extract. As a first-time user, you need to register an account, so the first thing you will do is to open the Frankisend app. Type 2 to register and hit enter. Next, enter your username and password. So all you will do is paste your key and hit enter to finally register your account. After successfully registering, type 1 and hit enter to log in. Next, enter the same username and password you choose when registering the account to finally log in and begin using the tool. I have finally logged in. Next minimize it and let's perform the necessary configuration before we can start sending email to SMS, just as you saw at the beginning of this video. Now before I walk you through the setup, let me explain this for those that don't know how email to SMS work. Now just as we send emails, in email sending we have Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, and the likes. Now note this, if I send an email to an email address ending in at gmail.com, Automatically you will know the user created the email from Gmail. The same applies to other emails. If the user's email end in at yahoo.com, then it means it was created from Yahoo and so on. Now what I'm trying to say is that, these emails were produced by companies and they being identified based on the email extension such as at gmail.com, at yahoo.com, at outlook.com. So all these are from different companies. Now switching same knowledge to SMS. Every number on the planet has a producer or a company that created those numbers. So in sending email to SMS, each phone number company has its own SMS address you add to their phone numbers to send email to SMS. Just as I explained for email where we have at gmail.com and at yahoo.com. In USA, for example, they have multiple carriers that produces numbers. Now each carrier has their own email to SMS address. So without adding these address to their numbers, you can't send email to SMS to these numbers. So let's say you're sending to 10,000 numbers, you need to filter out and know which carrier each number belongs, and then you add that carrier's corresponding email to SMS address. I hope this clarifies it if you don't have any knowledge when it comes to email to SMS. But don't worry, I will walk you through how to filter your numbers to know the respective carrier, so let's proceed. Now let's go through each file one after the other starting from the resource center folder. Now as I just explained, each carrier has their own email to SMS address that we add to their phone numbers to be able to send from email. Mostly email to SMS works in USA and Canada. 
So these two files contains list of popular carriers in USA and Canada, and their corresponding email to SMS address. Once again, later in this video, I will walk you through how to filter your numbers to know what carrier each number belongs so you will know the address to add to each number to be able to start sending email to SMS in bulk. Next is the placeholders file. These are the placeholders you can add to your message and their corresponding meaning. But the most important one is the link placeholder. Now as I told you before, this sender does link rotation. It also rotates your messages and also does SMTP rotation. Now if you read the explanation, it replaces your link in your content and rotates from the link.txt. What it means is that in the links.txt file, this is where you will add all your links you want to add to your content. Here, you add each link one per line just as I have done. So what's going to happen next is that this link placeholder will randomly replace any of the links you put in the links.txt file in your content. So instead of just putting the link in your message, you will only put where you want to add the link with the link placeholder. And since this tool does link rotation and rotate your links, this link placeholder will randomly insert any of the links you put in the links file. But don't worry if you still don't get it. I will demonstrate to you later in this video for much clarification. And it's not only the link placeholder you can add to your content, all these are placeholders you can include and each has their meaning so let's proceed. We've covered the resource center folder. Next is the content file. In the content file, this is where you will add all your contents. You can add as many content as you want and this tool will randomly rotate your contents and spread among the numbers you try to send to. Now I keep saying this tool does content rotation which is one of the secrets of hitting inbox. So what is going to happen is that assuming you add 20 different contents and you plan to send to let's say 2000 numbers, this tool will randomly spread the 20 contents among the 2000 numbers. So using approach like this, number one, it makes your content unique. And number two, you don't look like a spam. This approach is the best to hit inbox instead of the traditional way that everyone uses where just one message they will send to let's say 10,000 numbers or emails. In summary, this tool rotates your contents, so inside each quote, you will put there your message. Next is the leads file. This is where you will put all your numbers. Now remember at the beginning of the video I explained that for email to SMS, you need to add the address of the carrier to the numbers you're sending to. And the question is, how would you know the carrier each number belongs? Well, for that, we have a special tool that validates your numbers and group these numbers into their respective carriers that produces them. So you can use a tool like Frankify, which validate numbers in over 230 countries and sort out the valid numbers into the carriers that produces them. Now I have some USA and Canadian numbers validated, so let me show you what I mean. Now after using the Frankify to validate Canadian numbers, it sorted out the valid ones in their carriers, and that's what you see here. So using this Bell Mobility as an example. Inside this Bell Mobility file is a list of numbers. Now all these numbers were produced by Bell Mobility, just as we have T-Mobile, Sprint, or Verizon as carriers in USA. In Canada, they have a popular carrier called Bell Mobility. Now once you have identified the carrier of the numbers you want to send to, you will copy these numbers and put them in the leads file. And this Frankie send email to SMS sender tool will automatically add the carrier address to the numbers you put in the leads file. But don't worry if you still don't get it. We will get to the demonstrating part for much clarification. So let's move on. Next is the links file. As already explained, you will put here all your links you want to include in your content. And using the link placeholder in your content, it will automatically replaces the links you put here into your content and send. Again, I will demonstrate for much clarification, so let's proceed. Next is the most important thing when it comes to email to SMS, and it's the SMTP. Without SMTP, you can't send bulk SMS from email, so getting SMTP is a must. Now the beauty about this tool is that it does SMTP rotation. So you can add as many SMTP you want, and this tool will rotate them for you to reach inbox and send in bulk. Now in case you need SMTP, I have made two detailed step-by-step -step videos on how to personally build your own SMTP server. So make sure to check them out after watching this video. Now to open the SMTP file for the first time, right-click on it, and then choose Open with Notepad. Make sure this is checked and click OK. Now in the SMTP file, you will be given three templates to fill in your SMTP credentials. 
When filling in, make sure you don't delete even comma, or else you're going to get an error. Now you can add as many as NTP you want, and the tool will rotate them, making you hit inbox. So assuming you have these filled and want to add another SNTP or even more, you will copy and paste one of the templates and then fill with your SNTP credentials. Now between two open and close curly bracket contains one SNTP and there is a comma part from the last SNTP template. So if you want to add more SNTP, copy one SNTP template including the comma. And then paste it above the last template. So you can keep pasting as many as you want based on the number of test MTPs you want to add. Now let me explain this. This is my cyber panel dashboard of my SMTP, and this is the credentials. If you check here it has three port numbers which is 25, 587 and 465. And beside port 587 and 465, there is SSL meaning when using port 587 and 465 you will need to add SSL or else it won't work. Now if you check the SNTP templates given, you could see you have an option which says use SSL, and then you will choose between yes and no. So assuming my SNTP works on port 465, I will indicate the use SSL as yes by typing my because port 465 need SSL. If I don't indicate that then the SNTP won't work. Once again, we will get to the testing part for much clarification. Again, keep in mind that we have three ports when it comes to SNTP, which is port 25, port 587, and port 465. Now some SNTP will work on port 25, others will work on port 587, and others also works on port 465, depending on the company that produces the VPS IP address of your SNTP. I hope you've learned, so let's proceed. Now the last one is the subject file. The subject would be like your sender ID. Also this too also rotates your subjects. So you will add your subjects one per line and then save. Now after you fill in your content, add your leads, add your SNTP and subject, then finally open the Frankison tool to begin sending. Now before I demonstrate to you and send email to SMS to my own number, let me walk you through how this tool automatically add the carrier extension address to your leads. Alright, I have logged into the Frankiesend. Now I'm going to add my numbers in the leads file so let me copy and paste them. Let's assume I want to send to Bell Mobility numbers as filtered by the Frankify tool. I will copy and paste them into the leads file. Please note this, it's very important. When sending email to SMS, we don't add the country code. You could see that the Bell Mobility numbers I copy has plus one in front of each number. Now that's the country code and we need to remove them. Again, it's very important. So let me show you a simple trick to remove the country codes in case you also face same issue instead of removing them one by one. First, open Google Sheet in your browser. Click on this tab to highlight the whole sheet. Next, click on the one, two, three and choose plain text. Now paste the numbers you want to remove the country code in column A. When you choose plain text and paste the numbers, an equal sign will be added to the numbers. Now we need to remove the equal sign together with the country code plus one. And to do that, click on cell A to highlight the whole of column A. Next click on data. And select split text to column. Next open the separator dropdown and choose custom. Now type in what you want to remove which is equals plus one and this will be automatically remove them from your numbers. So as you can see it's been removed. Finally highlight the whole column again and copy and paste them into the leads file and save. Once again, make sure to remove the country code of your numbers before pasting them into the leads file. Now as I told you before, I'm going to show you how this Frankison tool automatically add the carrier address to your numbers. So after adding your leads, next open the Frankison tool. Now you will get already built-in carriers to choose from, but we are not going to use any of them. 
So when you log in, always choose option 7 and hit enter. Now based on the carrier you're sending to, you will type their SMS address and hit enter. And this will automatically fill all your numbers in the leads file. So since the numbers I added to the leads file are from Bell Mobility, which is a Canadian carrier, I will type their carrier SMS address and hit enter. Once again, you will find the SMS address of these carriers in the resource center folder. So I will open and copy the SMS address of Bell Mobility and paste it here and proceed. Here is it. So I will copy their address and paste and then hit enter. Now let's check the leads file and see what I got. Now you could see that the SMS address of the carrier has been automatically added to all the numbers. So that's how the tool works. Once again, only add just the numbers without the country code into the leads file and the tool will automatically do the rest for you. Let's go over one more time for much clarification. Assuming I want to send to AT and T numbers, I will copy and paste their numbers in the leads file. Next I need to remove the country code so I'm going to use Google Sheet to do that. Again to remove the country code, click on data. And then click split text to columns. Next I will choose custom and type equals plus one to remove those I don't need. Next I will copy and paste the numbers and paste them into the leads file and save. Once again, I'm just showing you how the tool automatically add the carrier address to your numbers. So after adding your leads, I will open the Frankasend tool. The numbers in the, the leads file are 8 and T numbers, so I will choose option 7 and hit enter. Once again, ignore the first 6 options and use option 7. Now since the numbers are AT and T numbers, I will open the resource center folder and copy and paste the SMS address for AT and T and then proceed. Now let's check the leads file and see what we got. So as you can see, all the address have been automatically added to the numbers. I believe you now understand how this tool works. Now let me demonstrate and fill in my real details including my SNTP contents and sending to my phone number just as you saw at the very beginning of this video. Once again, make sure to fill in all the files with your credentials before opening the tool to send. So starting from the content file, I will add my content. You can add as many as you want. So if you want to add more, you will copy and paste the template and then add your content. So these are three different content I'm going to add. Now in my content, I have added the link placeholder. So any links I add in the links file will be replaced with the link placeholder. I will delete the rest because I'm only adding three content, and then save. Next is the leads file, so you need to add your numbers and save as already demonstrated. But before you add your numbers in bulk, you need to add just one number and test your SMTP before sending in bulk. You can add your own number and test first. Now assuming you don't live in the USA or Canada and want to test this is what you will do. First, after validating your numbers using a tool like Frankify, you will copy any of the valid numbers from any carrier. So let's say T-Mobile. Copy any of the numbers, and then use a service called Free Carrier Lookup to confirm if the number belongs to the carrier you chose. So as you can see, it's confirmed as T-Mobile number. Next, I will paste this number in the leads file and save. Now you will only use this method if you don't live in USA or Canada and want to send email to SNNS. This is how you will test your SNTP. So let's proceed. Next is the link file. 
As already explained, you can add many links, and the placeholder you include in the content will randomly replaces the links you put here in your content and rotates them. So I will only add just one link for demonstration purposes, but you can add as many as you want. So that's my YouTube channel link. I'm only left with adding my SMTP and the subject. So let me add my subjects first. Now I will add my SMTP credentials. I'm only adding just one SMTP so I will delete the rest of the templates. If you're using only one SMTP, make sure you also delete the comment behind the close curly bracket. At this point I'm going to check which of the port will work for my SMTP. If you could remember I explained that we have three ports when it comes to SMTP. So you need to also test to see which of the port number works for your SMTP. So starting with port 25, I will add my SMTP credentials and then save. So finally, I will open the Frankison tool and send. Here I will choose option 7 and hit enter. Next, since the number I'm testing is a T-Mobile number if you could remember, I will add the T-Mobile carrier address and hit enter. Next is the delay you want to pause between each send. So if it's 2 seconds you will put 2. If it's 5 seconds you will type 5 and then hit enter and the tool will begin sending. Alright so you could see that I got an error and it states a connection attempt failed. This is because my SMTP is not working on port 25. Now that doesn't mean my SMTP doesn't work. So just as I told you before you need to test all the ports to see which one works for your SMTP. Now since port 25 doesn't work for my SMTP, I'm going to change to port 587 and check. Also make sure you switch between the SSL. If the port uses SSL, you will replace the N with Y, mean yes. So I will first start with no. Next I will open the Frankasend again and send. Again, I will choose option 7. Next is the carrier address. Now listen, I'm not going to add the carrier address of T-Mobile again because it's already added. If I add it again, then my number will have two carrier address which is wrong. Now if I open the leads file, you could see that the address is already added because of the first test I did. So if I add it again, I'm going to get double address which is wrong. So I'm not going to add it again. So you just hit enter and proceed if you already have the carrier address added. Finally, I will add the delay and send. Alright, I got an error for port 587. The error says SMTP authentication extension not supported by server. Meaning, my SMTP doesn't work on port 587 as well. On port 587, I first set the SSL to no. So since it didn't work, I'm going to change it to Y and test again. Once again, I will choose option 7 and hit enter. Now I'm not going to add the carrier address again because it's already added. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to add it again and then show you what will happen if you repeatedly add the carrier address. Next, I will add the delay and then send. Now check the error. First error says it couldn't send to the number because the number had two carrier address which is wrong. And the second error is SSL error, meaning my SMTP doesn't need secured SSL connection on port 587. So I have tested port 587 twice both switching between the SSL from no to yes and both didn't work. Now I'm left with only one port which is port 465. So let me change that and see if it will deliver this time around. 
Now if I get an error on the last port which is 465, then it means my SMTP doesn't work at all. So you could see that when I repeatedly added the carrier address again, it has been added twice which is totally wrong. I did that just to demonstrate to you for much clarification so you don't repeat same mistakes. So let me delete one of the address. Now let me change the port number to 465 and test my SMTP again. Again, I will choose option 7 and hit enter. I already have the address added so I will hit enter and proceed without adding the T-Mobile SMS address again. Next, I will add the delay and send. Alright, so finally it's marked as successfully sent, which means my SMTP works on port 465. I believe you get the whole scenario now. If I summarize it, first you will add your content, your links, and your subjects. Next, you will only add one number in the leads file to test the SMTP to see which port works for your SMTP. That's the whole process. Now after knowing your SMTP is working and getting a success message like this, the only changes you will make is to add your numbers in the leads file and then start sending. So what I'm going to do next is to add my own number in the leads file and then send. I'm adding my number three times which means I'm going to receive the messages three times on my phone. I'm just doing this just to show you what I meant by the rotation I kept saying this email to SMS tool does. So that's my phone on the right. Finally, let's send. Again, I will choose option seven. Next is the carrier address. My number is a T-Mobile number, so I will add T-Mobile SMS carrier address and hit enter. Next, I will set the delay between each message and send. And for the delay, you put the number of seconds you want. So as you can see, I have received the message three times because I added my number three times in the leads file. Now let me open and show you what I meant by rotation. First of all, if you check here, you could see my SMTP email address appeared. So this is what we call sending email to SMS. Now using this method, you don't pay for sending SMS unlike sending a normal SMS using API where you are being charged for every SMS you send. In email to SMS, you only need an SMTP just like sending bulk emails using SMTP. So now let me open the message and then we analyze. So this is what I meant by content rotation. If you could remember, I added three different messages in the content file and for each message I added the link placeholder. So if you check the messages, they are different. And the link placeholder I added to each message were replaced by this link. Now if I added multiple links, then each link will be different, but I only added just one link, so that's why it has appeared in all the message because I added only one link. And these are the subjects. You could see each is also different because the Frankison email to SMS sender also rotates your content. At this point, I believe you've gotten much clarification of how you can use this amazing tool to send email to SMS in bulk for free while hitting inbox. This is because it rotates your contents, it rotates your links, it rotates your subjects, and most importantly, it also rotates your SMTP. Now this is one of the secrets of hitting inbox. Once again, if you need this tool, you can get it from my website, frankserena.com. Also, you can watch my in-depth SMTP video and learn how to create your own SMTP where you can use to send email to SMS, like I have demonstrated. So that's it for this video. Kinda like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more valuable content next time.